this is Stampy, and welcome back to another Let's Play on Super Mario Maker! This is episode number three in my series where I have been building maps for Squishy, and she has been building maps for me. And we have a new style now, and we're now going to be doing Super Mario World, which is by far my favourite Mario game. So I'm very much so looking forward to this, and uh, not only uh, do we have a new theme, uh, we also have a whole bunch of new toys to play with, such as this guy skeleton who we can plonk in here. <laughs> this is actually a, an underwater level. Oh look! Oh look it turns into a fish! The skeleton turns to a fish because I'm underwater. That is really cool. But yeah, I am not actually going to be uh, using the um uh, yeah, using the, the underwater style. Uh, I'm going to use... I've got this style, which is the uh, the ghost house. Uh, so what I thought I'd do uh, was make a, uh, a spooky level uh, for Squashy. So the idea is, is I'm going to have lots of things that are going to, to scare her. Uh, but um, yeah, they're not actually going to really hurt her. Uh, they're just going to seem uh, really scary. So I'm going to start off by trying to make her trust me by putting in a, a few nice things. Uh, so inside of here, I'm going to put some normal coins and... Uh, a mushroom just so uh, at the uh, the beginning uh, she's going to, to trust me and uh, think that everything's okay and then later on we're gonna be um not quite so kind <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, what we can do now is we can put in these which are basically uh, like invisible blocks and so if I go to play mode I can't see them but you can see if I hit them uh, then things come out of them so uh, we can use them a little bit later on just to uh, just to scare her a little bit maybe <laughs> just for fun all uh, right then uh, we can also put doors in as well which can take her places so that could be quite cool but let's um let's try and just make the level seem quite normal at first so let's go and uh, put down a um uh, a couple goombas here uh, just to make it seem normal you know she's gonna have no trouble whatsoever uh, taking them out uh, but that should be quite easy and then let's just do a, a few normal jumps shall we let's make it uh, so she has to go and uh, jump up here a little bit and then maybe just do a nice little uh, normal gap so she's feeling like it's a pretty average standard level and then we're gonna go and uh, start getting a little bit trickier so there we go that is a nice easy jump all right what we could do now is go and uh, add a, uh, a door in so let's uh, build an area uh, where we can uh, have the the door let's kind of make it on a, a little bit of a, a pedestal so we'll build some uh, normal ground down here and then I'm going to make a, a kind of spooky looking raised door. We'll just make it uh, look a little bit more important by having it on this platform here. And uh, you'll see uh, when I bring the uh, the door in, it actually brings two doors in. And because one uh, is the uh, the door which I'm going to uh, allow her to go through first. And then the other one is going to be where she ends up. So I kind of just want her to end up uh, miles out of the way, uh, away from everything. Uh, because I don't want her to, to be able to, to see this. Uh, so if I do uh, a platform, uh, maybe if I do kind of a little cup about like this here and uh, get rid of those bits and uh, put this in the the middle down here oh no this is annoying me because it's not equal let's make it a little bit smaller <laughs> so she can end up in here and then let's surround the area with ghosts shall we let's just go so she's not in a huge amount of danger here i mean if she um uh, yeah, if she did get hit by the ghost, it would hurt. But um, yeah, what she, all she needs to do uh, is go straight back through the, the door and she'll be okay. So let's go and uh, test the, the level so far. So normal looking level. Uh, let's grab some coins and then the, the mushroom. And oh, I failed. <laughs> I might uh, move uh, all of these up a little bit higher. Actually, I can grab them. How do I grab them? There we go. If I do... Uh, this I can just go and move everything up to the the top like that. There we go uh, This just makes this bit a little bit easier so we can go and jump up oh. <laughs> I am the worst officially the worst at this I've always been bad at doing uh, platforming and uh, yeah, that is certainly true in here as well Let's get the mushroom. Uh, let's jump over these there we go grab the uh, the mushroom jump over the the gap and then here's the door I think you just press up to go through doors. Yep, and then here are all the ghosts and it's really scary There's no one to go and so I just go back through the door. That's good <laughs> I think uh, that will hopefully scare her so then as uh, she can just basically go and uh, carry on heading this way um, Right, what should we have next? There's some new things we can play. With. There's these skeleton things as well uh, We could maybe uh, have a, a little pit of these down here And I think that would be a good way uh, to make sure she does go straight through the the door uh, because she's probably going to be wanting uh, to avoid these skeletons thingy so let's put them down and I'm not sure what they do I don't know if they throw anything I think they're basically uh, just like um yeah they're just like kind of skeleton shells oh look they do throw things
things, but they're quite low, uh, so they shouldn't be too deadly. So as uh, you should be able to, easy enough, uh, be able to deal with them. And then well, we could use a, a bean stalk. I think uh, we can put that uh, inside of this here, and uh, that will uh, be able to to lift her up uh, somewhere a lot higher. So let's go and uh, drag that into into there. And so uh, she can hit that, and then she can go and climb up here somewhere. So if I go and build another platform up here, and let's build it out of something else just to, to make it look different. There we go. There can be this bridge, uh, which can be along the uh, the top up here like this. And oh, this might be a, another a good time to try and trick her. I'm going to make it look like uh, she can do a jump uh, to an area which has lots of really amazing stuff. Uh, but sadly, uh, there's going to be some invisible blocks that are going to make her uh, fall down the uh, the middle here. This could actually be the... the the way uh, how she gets uh, across to the the other side let's just do this one then shall we uh, let's use these and uh, I'm gonna make it look a little bit easier to, to get into and then we can put one of these in there uh, we can put a, a one-up one in there as well we can just go crazy and uh, fill it full of all loads of goodies I think she'll be a little bit suspicious <laughs> when she sees how nice I'm being uh, but yeah I don't think she'll be able to resist we put a, a star in there as well uh, we can go crazy we put a fire flower in there uh, let's just fill it full of all of the uh, the most amazing things. But we'll tell you what, let's put these all along the bottom and then we can go and uh, just put a, a whole load of coins on the uh, the top like this. So she'll come along to here and try and jump but hit her head on some of these. So if we just go and put these all the way along the, the top there like that then I think she's pretty much guaranteed to hit her head. I might actually go and uh, do it slightly lower down uh, just to make sure she doesn't ac accidentally land in here. I suppose if she does land in there, it's fine. It doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, let's go and um, uh, we could put some nasty things in here as well. We'll put some more ghosts uh, in here. Uh, I think she's going to drop away and get away from them anyway, uh, but it might just scare her a little bit. So let's go and put some ghosts in here. And uh, let's test this out then. Let's go down to, uh, let's go down from here. Uh, I can pretty much just jump over these, to be honest. They're no real trouble. Oop, need to run off the other side there and there we go this goes up uh, let's make sure it goes up high enough there we go looks like it goes right to the the top of the level uh, so i'll then get off here and I'd run along here, and then I'd go like, oh, look at all of the amazing things inside of there. Uh, let's go, and oh, the star fell off, and then look, there we go. <laughs> I go and fall down absolutely perfectly. So that is exactly uh, what I want to happen, and then she should go and land down uh, somewhere around here. So let's go and uh, fill all of this uh, ground in. And oh, by the way, uh, lots of people have pointed out that the, the paw isn't a cat. It's actually probably a dog, and... I'm not 100% sure. I think it probably is a dog, to be fair, but <laughs> yeah, it just still makes me laugh anyway. And I'll tell you what, let's put some some bouncy springs down here. So when she lands, uh, she'll go and get bounced around on these springs as well. It'll be quite funny. <laughs> I could make it so as she falls, she falls past. No, I think it's okay. I think this is uh, all right, uh, the uh, the way it is like this. So she's going to land here, uh, go on some of these springs, and let's make uh, quite a big area here so she doesn't accidentally uh, go and fall off the, uh, the edge. All right. How else can I scare her then? I could make some... Oh, look, there's wizards we could put in. We could put some wizards in. Uh, the wizards are quite dangerous, though, because I don't think you can kill them by jumping on their heads. Let's do a quick test. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, you can. Okay, they're not um as dangerous as I thought they were then. Uh, let's maybe just go and uh, have a wizard down here then. And uh, I also want to use a huge ghost at some point, because uh, uh, they're quite cool looking. And, oh, these power things, these are pretty cool as well, uh, because... Uh, uh, what you can do. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to put loads of enemies on these because basically... Uh, these things, if you jump on the, the power thing, they all get turned into coins. So actually, I'm going to get rid of a few of these. But if I cover these in enemies, as soon as she lands on one of the, the power things, uh, these are all going to get destroyed. And then all of the, the enemies are going to, to fall down. Uh, so they won't actually be uh, that deadly. So let's go and uh, put another wizard up here. And we'll go and grab you and bring you up there as well. And uh, what else could we put up here? Um... We could, I, I want something to look scary, but not actually be too deadly. Let's go and put some of these in, seeing as it's the uh, the dangerous uh, kind of haunted house theme. Let's put these here, and then if I go and put a, uh, a couple of these power things along here, uh, just to make sure she gets one of them, uh, basically what should happen is she sees these, uh, but then she jumps on uh, on this, and then they all go and just fall down down there. Oh, oh no, the wizards teleport! Right, we're not using the uh, the wizards then. <laughs> it's never a good sign when you get killed on your, your own level. Let's go and put... Uh, we'll put some 
of these guys up here then uh, instead. And then these uh, guys can all get destroyed. Actually, no, forget this. I know what to put up there to be scary. Bowser! Let's go and just throw Bowser on there, shall we? <laughs> That's sure to give her a fright. And uh, let's go and move these a little bit closer. So she definitely has to see Bowser and get close. And then goodbye, Bowser. There we go. <laughs> and now uh, she'll be able to jump and uh, get to the uh, the other side, which will be uh, over here. Right, so let me go and add some some ground in. I must be impressed. I'm actually building this level pretty fast, considering uh, how big it's ending up being. Uh, so let's go and uh, build a little bit of ground here and uh, decide how we can be mean next. Well, let's be nice for a second. Seeing as we've been mean, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a... I'm going to kind of make something seem too good to be true. I'm going to put just one uh, question mark block there and uh, just make it... If I put a spring under as well, I don't think she's going to be trusting me right now. So we'll see uh, whether she's brave enough to get it. Uh, but if she does get it, uh, she can get a mushroom. Oh no, I know what I could put in. I could put in uh, a um, uh, a feather. So you see these feathers, if I grab them, uh, you can use them uh, to go and uh, kind of float around like this. Uh, so I can make it so she can do a, a really big jump. So I'm going to allow her get, uh, to get a bit of a, a run up and uh, then I'm going to do a huge gap. And uh, I need it so she can just about see the gap. So you can see uh, to just past uh, this lamp, which is up here. Uh, oh, no, Bowser's after me. <laughs> uh, so if I go and fill it in here. So I think that jump might be just about doable without the feather. Uh, but if she has the feather, it will be much better. There we go. So you can just about do it. But if she gets the uh, the feather, it will be a, a lot easier. But uh, just to make things a little bit scarier, I'm going to add a, a bunch of spikes in the, uh, the pit as well. So uh, they don't really need to be there because if she falls, she's dying anyway it just makes the whole thing a bit scarier all right i think i'm uh, probably getting quite close to the the end uh, but what i do want to use is a a massive um a, a massive ghost uh, just because i've not used one of them yet uh, and i think uh, it will look uh, quite cool so i'm trying to decide uh, how to introduce uh, one of them to the the levels i think i've done a, a good job and pretty much used uh, all of the uh, the new items uh, that i have down here so uh, that's quite good because that's the uh, the main goal um how could I, how could I, how was a cool way how I could have a, a big ghost? I could maybe just have it appear and then have it right before the, the end of the level. Uh, so she kind of has to, to run past it and just make it really scary. Uh, I think I'll, I'll do that. So I might have it uh, come in around about here. Uh, so let's just go and uh, fill the uh, the rest of this ground in here and uh, just make it so it's a, a bit of a, a mad dash uh, to the, the end. Uh, but there's going to also be a, a huge ghost. I could put it in another one of these mystery boxes. Maybe I'll do it so she goes to jump up to the, uh, the end. Uh, but then lands on one of these and uh, a huge ghost comes out. So I might just go and uh, put a, a huge ghost uh, in all of these. So uh, let's see how big we can make this ghost. I wonder if we can feed it a few. So that's quite big. Can I make it any bigger? No, I think that's uh, as big as I can I can make it. Uh, so let's just go and uh, fill all of these in uh, with these uh, huge ghosts. <laughs> so she should be safe as well. Right, let's go and uh, have a test to play through and uh, play through my uh, entire level and uh, see how well it plays. So uh, I always struggle at this bit for some reason. Let's go and try and be careful and uh, get rid of these guys. Uh, okay, let's wait for the, the mushroom to come. I don't want to be embarrassed again. And let's go and jump up here. And then jump over the, the easy gap. Here's the, the scary doorway, uh, which he goes through. And then, ah, there's so many goes. And then I can go <laughs> back through the, the door again. I can jump over these guys. And uh, then, oh, yeah, it's the uh, the plant, uh, which goes up to the, the top here, which leads to this platform. I then run along here, and I go to jump to there. But, oh, no, I found out. Oh, I got hit by some fire. But luckily, because I had the mushroom, I'm okay. There's Bowser. I can just drop him down the, the pit like this. And then I can go and grab the coins and get over in here is the uh, the feather I can go and grab that and now let's do a, a big run and job oh I grabbed that as well for some reason whoa you can go very high look you could actually do that to get all the way to the the end and uh, avoid the uh, the other ghosts if you want <laughs> right then that is my kind of short and uh, and sweet level uh, but I think it's ready for squishy to play so as I've been building this uh, she has also been building a, a, a level for for me and uh, so I'm gonna go and play her level right about now Okay, here we go. This is Squishy's level. Well, that's a bit mean, isn't it? That's a bit of a mean way to start. Right, let's get out the way, shall we? And let's get rid of this little fella. <laughs> I don't think you can actually uh, kill the Goombas in uh, in Mario World. I think uh, you kind of just knock them out, which I kind of like. I think it's kind of nicer that way. And oh, well, this is a bit mean. Squishy had always been nice to me until now. Right, I need to dodge out the way at the beginning. <laughs> and let's take out this guy. Just knock him out the way. And uh, let's go and... Uh, Right, if I move this, oh, oh, spike's coming. Uh, oh, nope. 
This is brutal. This is a mean level, right? Instead of um, instead of going back, let's just try and charge and let's just try and go. See if I can get that mushroom. Oh, there we go. I took that guy out. Now I can go and grab the mushroom and immediately get taken out, but that's okay. And oh, what can I get in the cloud? Here we go. I can get in the cloud and I can go and get all the smiley coins. <laughs> I don't know if she knew that you could fly around in coins. I'm kind of going to go back down uh, because I. Okay, I wish I carried on now. <laughs> I don't want to just fly over the entire level and uh, not get to, to see everything it has in it. So let's go and try and do this. I think that's the best way to do it. Charging forward straight away. And uh, let's see if I can actually get the, the mushroom. Let's go, go, quick, quick, quick. No, 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 go. I need to be quick before um it's those cloud guys. They throw down the uh, the spiky shell things. So um I want to be quick. Uh, that was a little bit better. But this is a very mean way to start. It's funny because I can just see the little smiley face she built uh, the entire time down there. There we go. There's him taken out. What? I was on his head. Come on. I was above him then. Come on. Rule number one of a Mario game. If you jump on their head, they should be taken out. And that's what I did. This is bad. Okay. I know I'm doing this bad, but this is still a mean level. I might just ignore that mushroom and uh, just try and keep going but those guys above me they're going to be a, a bit of a nuisance and oh i tried to pick it up i tried to pick it up but it didn't let me right do you reckon i can go down the the pipe i'm not actually sure if we've unlocked the uh, the ability to go down the pipe yet uh, let's see if i can yeah let's keep going then uh, let's try and just jump over that guy this is so difficult Right, instead of going down, let's try and jump over the, the fire areas. I don't know, maybe there's something nice in some of those question boxes. I feel like Squishy was in a bad mood when she made this, so I'm not sure. Right, can I go down? Oh, no! That's a piranha plant. <laughs> and then there's just another smiley face looking at me. This is so mean! And there we go. There we go. I got the mushroom. Let's see if I can... Uh, right, I want to dodge these, and uh, let's try and keep going then. I want to try and get rid of that cloud guy. Okay, I didn't, but right, I'm hurt, so let's just keep running. No! I thought I was still flashing. I did see though that there is another mushroom inside of that chest there. So even if I get hit once, I can hopefully go and get the uh, the other one. Right, let's try and uh, get up here and uh, let's ignore that mushroom. Uh, let's instead uh, go for this one in here. Let's try and actually hit the underneath. There we go. And I got the, the mushroom. I immediately got hurt, but at least I can go and uh, carry on going. Right, there we go. I got past. Oh no, but I jumped straight into that guy. They're so mean because they follow you as well. It's not like they're only there where they're placed. Uh, they seem to keep following you as well, which makes them extra mean. Right, let's go for this mushroom down here then there we go i got big oh no but i got small again but at least i'm flashing so i won't get hurt right let's see if we can take out these guys then um i think i might i have to use my strategy of flying over the the level because i am struggling so much here right let's go bounce up uh, let's see now then if i can uh, take out the uh, the guy at the the top i'm gonna try and get a mushroom and as soon as i have it i'm gonna go and try and take out the uh, the guys in the the clouds this is a very difficult level and uh, it's kind of worse just having the smiley face look looking at you. <laughs> How many attempts have I done now? How many attempts has this been? I have not had a level this hard before. Even on all the other uh, ones I've downloaded, uh, which can sometimes be quite hard, they've never been this mean right at the, the very beginning. I guess the good thing is, is that it's mean at the uh, the very beginning. So it's not like I've got right to the end of the level and then I fell. It's all right at the very start. So at least I can just immediately retry and uh, have another go. Right, let's go and try and get the mushroom and then let's try and get out of here. Nope, I immediately got taken out again. That was a bit of a waste. Right, let's try and get on top of here and then let's go and try and take out this guy. Oh, he just about was able to dodge me then. I need to jump over that and let's go again. Oh no, I missed again. That is dangerous. Right, I'm down here. I might as well carry on. Nope, I think that's the strategy though. I think I need to... Uh, uh, try and take up the other uh, cloud people and get in the, the cloud. Maybe that is what you're supposed to do then. Maybe you are supposed to do that. All right, let's see if I can go down here and actually get this mushroom and get out. Nope, I got killed by that thing. <laughs> this is horrible. This is so mean. I wasn't that bad to her. I know her one was a little bit scary, but it wasn't too difficult. All right, let's ignore that mushroom then. And let's just go for this guy. There we go. There's him gone. And uh, now let's see if I can get in his cloud. There we go. All right. Let's just fly then. I'm still going to be careful uh, because there are these uh, other ones. And oh look, oh, there's a star down there. Uh, let's see if we can go and get the, the star. There's a lot of things to dodge though. Can I get it? There we go. I got the star. Right, this way I can run along the ground and uh, see everything. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Oh, this is the end. This is the end right here. And I have done it. Oh no, I haven't. I've got to hit this. And there we go. Now I have done it. <laughs> that was so hard. That was a mean level. Right. Next time, 
I am getting payback. We have one more uh, map to uh, one more level to, to make for each other. And you can see in the bottom of the screen there what it looks like from the side with the smiley faces. Yeah, we got one more level to, to make for each other. And I'm going to get Squishy back and I am going to be mean. <laughs> so yeah, there'll be a link in the description to uh, that uh, video once it's online. Uh, there'll also be a link to Squishy's view if you want to see her building this mean level and playing the one I made for her. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!